In this video, we will be going over the following problem. The red line of length 2 is perpendicular to the bases of the three semicircles. What is the area of the shaded region? Now I'd recommend that you guys pause the video here and give the problem a shot yourselves, and then keep watching to see the solution. To begin, let's call the radius of the smallest semicircle R1, and the radius of the middle sized semicircle R2. The diameter of the largest semicircle then must be 2R1 plus 2R2, and so its radius must be half that, or R1 plus R2. Now the area of the shaded region is nothing but the area of the larger semicircle minus the areas of the two smaller semicircles. And so, if we were to write the area of the shaded region in terms of R1 and R2, it would be pi over 2 times R1 plus R2 whole squared, which is the area of the largest semicircle, minus pi over 2 r1 squared minus pi over 2 r2 squared. Now if we were to just focus on this term here and expand it, we would get pi over 2 r1 squared plus pi over 2 r2 squared plus pi over 2 times 2 r1 r2. Now if we were to plug this expansion back into our formula for the area of a shaded region, notice that these terms cancel and these terms cancel. And so what we're left with for the area of the shaded region is just this term over here. And so now we have to move into the next phase of our problem, which involves determining the value of r1 times r2. And this is where knowing the length of the perpendicular line segment will come into play. If we call this point A, the point where the two semicircles meet, B, this point C, and this point at the top, D, and then draw the line segments AD and CD, notice that we form three distinct right triangles. Triangles ABD and CBD are both right triangles because the red line is perpendicular to the bases of the semicircle. And triangle ACD must also be a right triangle because angle D is the angle inscribed in the semicircle and therefore it must be 90 degrees. And there will be a link to a video I've made proving why this must be true in the top right hand corner of the screen right now. Now because all three triangles are right triangles, we can apply the Pythagorean theorem on each one of them. And if we do so on triangle ABD to start, we get the equation AD squared is equal to 2R1 squared plus 2 squared. If we apply the Pythagorean theorem on triangle CBD, we get the equation CD squared is equal to 2R2 whole squared plus 2 squared. And now if we apply the Pythagorean theorem on the big triangle, ACD, we get the equation AC squared equals AD squared plus CD squared. Well, now we know the length of AC. It's just 2R1 plus 2R2. So this side of our equation becomes 2R1 plus 2R2 whole squared. And this is equal to AD squared which from the topmost equation we know is 4R1 squared plus 4 plus CD squared, which the middle equation tells us is 4R2 squared plus 4. Now if we expand the left-hand side of our equation, we get 4R1 squared plus 4R2 squared plus 8 r1, r2. And the right hand side will keep as is. Notice that this term and this term cancel now as well as this term and this term. And so what we're left with is 8r1 times r2 equals 4 plus 4 or 8. And dividing by 8 on both sides gives us r1 times r2 
is equal to 1. And so the area of the shaded region, which we said was pi times r1 times r2, is just pi.